Right. Well, this took a lot longer to finish than I expected. Honestly, it's uh, it was quite frustrating to see troops not being able to overcome this. Uh, honestly, I I just uh, I just wanted to test out the map to see how it was working. And it works a little too well, at least against infantry. If you put vehicles against this trench line, it will fall apart. But anyway. This is a very, very unfinished map, as you can see here. Uh, it's, it's still a work in progress, but I decided to test it out. Uh, there's some seams around that just aren't attached right. A little crooked trenches, but surprisingly, it's extremely effective against infantry. And that's how I want it. So... The original plan of this map is actually to make it a one of those uh, maps where it just gets progressively harder as you get uh, progress. Over here, it's supposed to be like a hilly area where there are enemies behind every hill. But here, it's just going to be infantry. This is my little test here. And what I had a problem with this part is because uh, the infantry just, you know, the German infantry just couldn't get past this trench line. And I kept having to add more and more and more until eventually they could pass through. And this is only if uh, they get really lucky, apparently. But they've won, like, twice, so... I'm not going to argue, so l let's go ahead and start the game. We're going to go and watch from this side. And here come the Germans. They are German riflemen. Uh, honestly, this is also gets harder. Oops. Sound's not working. So as the game progresses, it gets harder and harder. We start off with riflemen, and this is honestly extremely loud. We start off with riflemen, and then riflemen and SMGs, then riflemen, SMGs, and uh, MG34s. And uh, I expect these guys to be able to overwhelm uh, this area. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Yeah, sometimes these guys lose uh, their will to fight and just hide the entire battle of the game. But if they do overwhelm this first line of defense, they'll go against this line of defense, which is... I'll be in a nightmare to get through. So let's go ahead and check on the Germans. How are they doing? Too afraid to move. I need to fix this clip thing here. I'm always annoyed not being able to zoom in close enough. Is there a British over here? Here are the SMGs already. Already there are about... Probably about 15 dead German troops trying to assault this trench line. British haven't suffered any casualties yet. But this guy... Why, why do you frustrate me so? Looks like they're suffering casualties over here now. Let's 
So the left flank is already being whittled away. Right flank... Looks like this guy does not have the will to fight. Get on the battlefield, sir. I don't blame him for ducking all the time, but... Ah, look at the fire that these guys are giving him. Germans are inching ever closer. If you ever wonder why tanks were invented, this is why. I don't understand. Th there has never been this much gun jam before. These guys keep ducking. Well, obviously this trench line has just been completely wiped out. How's this trench line? Okay. I think I'm going to do these guys a favor, get them to duck. And this guy is going to fall back. Maybe they'll be able to escape? Who knows? Ooh. So the center flank is already taking a lot of fire. I don't know how long they'll be able to hold. They usually hold out a little bit longer than this. As in they don't lose troops this quickly. The center flank just got wiped out already. Or the center uh, gunners just got taken out already. That's surprising. So we got some guys with a decent amount of kills. They fought fairly well. Over here there's only three uh, riflemen left. Oh, this is so loud. Wow. There's a lot of, uh... A lot of troops who took fire on this side. Ooh. I think this guy should duck. Gonna go ahead and have him reinforce this center. Gonna have this guy hide over there. This guy reinforce this position over here. Should be fine. So, the rifleman most definitely managed to push through the shoots. But they did wipe out quite a few troops. But this time, it's the uh, more improved wave coming in. We got Panzer Grenadiers. So, they held up pretty well for a while. Now it's just up to these guys. Look 
at that huge wave of troops coming in. I probably should have changed the scenery here. Make it a little darker, maybe rain. That would have been looking really nice. I'm sure you understand why why this map is so deadly. They got these Germans had to climb up an incline. But this it's just a small slanted ramp that they gotta climb up, and then there's this area, this elevated trench line. The deadliest trench line you can be in. I'm waiting for this guy to open fire. What the hell are you trying to do down here? Ah, there we go. Wow. There's a whole body of these guys not pushing. I don't blame them for not pushing, but if they don't push, they're not going to overwhelm them. Look, all these guys are pinned down by three Maxons, and they're not taking much fire. I remember them taking a lot more casualties than this. I guess it's not their day. Yeah, I see why the, they're not doing too well. Normally, when they go up there, they start firing. They take out a few guys, but they're not... They're too afraid to move. I am disappointed in you guys. They're... You guys completely outnumber them, and the more you sit down there, the more you die. There's so many troops not moving right now, that my frame rate's actually dropping below 20. It's never been this low. Usually troops run in, get killed, but before that, uh, before they lose like 10 troops, they kill one British. They're not doing that. They're actually failing miserably to take these guys out. Probably gonna want to help these guys. Kill them. You know you can do it. Ich 
My frame rate's going to drop below 10 before these guys push. I think I'm gonna go deaf. There's so many troops shooting at the same time. Okay, you guys are really annoying me. I need you to start shooting. I need you all. I need all of you to head over there and attack. Wait, is there still a guy over here? No wonder. I didn't even know he was still alive. No wonder they're not pushing. There's no reason for you not to retreat. Can you guys push, please? There's so many of them right here. Okay, at least they managed to take out one more person. <laughs> but that's all they've been able to take out. It's so sad. Cover me! Okay, the Germans appear to be pushing again. I'm not taking them off fire though. Wait, what is with these guys? They keep taking cover. This is. This is so weird. My Bren gunners keep jamming. These troops still won't move. This is act. This is just. This is actually a first for me. That these guys are hardly moving. Usually, they just immediately charge. Look at how many uh, alive people there are over these bodies. Those Maxons appear to be having fun, but it looks like they've lost one more soldier over here. And another soldier over here. Looks like they're mostly focused on the left flank.
You know, I, I expected them to push a lot more. I've never actually expected them to do this. Especially when they grossly outnumber the troops. And sure, those Maxons are really laying it down on them, but... They'd be able to weaken this trench line severely if they all started attacking. But they're not all attacking. It's bugging me. It was a lot more interesting to watch these German troops all get slaughtered. And yet they're all hiding. And they don't seem to realize that they can still get hit. That they stay down, they're dead. That they keep moving, they got a chance to kill the enemy. Look, they are weakening it. Slightly. But unless they all start moving, they're not going to win. Look, you got some Germans on the left flank. They're pushing. Uh, I'm probably going to want to help them. Let's go ahead and uh, slow down time a bit. Let's go ahead. So I'm going to press one. Gonna have these guys attack. Attack that area, please. <laughs> it's just following that bullet. Just need you all to engage that gun. If you can disable those guns, at least for a little bit, you'll succeed. Probably. Alright, now they started charging. Let's see how things go. As soon as I get everything back on the screen. Oh, that's odd. They're still moving extremely slowly. I kinda wish they would all push. Is this just gonna be a stalemate? Where the troops just decide they don't want to move? Look, you disabled one of the guns. I'll even let you push a little bit more until I reman it. Just keep pushing, take out a few more of these guys. Then I'll reman this and kill a bunch of you guys. <laughs> because you seem that incompetent that you're not really willing to push. The center is disabled, so you better get pushing. Look, they're even opening fire now. This entire time, I have never expected the AI to act like this. Like, normally I would just see only a few of these guys sitting around, but as soon as they got reinforcements, they would all start pushing. All of them. But, they're getting reinforcements, and they're just not pushing. And I think that's the last of the reinforcements, actually. There's really no reason for these guys not to push. Oh, 
Los, kämpft sie nieder! <sighs> just, just attack! Go on! You can do it, you can take out this other gun! I'm sure you can! I've never seen them able to hold out for this long before. Or hold out with this many troops before. This is... Quite surprising. See, they have so few troops now because they just sat there and let themselves get shot. I, I, I've seen the Germans do a lot better than this, honestly. I've seen- I've literally seen this trench get overwhelmed before. This is the first time that they have ever had this many troops survive. Germans usually put up a good fight, but I guess they lost all their morale over all these bodies over here. See how many bodies there are? Most of these bodies are as a result of the Germans not moving. They just sat there and let themselves get shot. This is why this this whole trench line and this little hill over here is a death trap. Because they can see you for miles. They can shoot at you for miles. It's like at the Omaha Beach. You sit down, you're dead. But you keep moving, you just have a good chance to survive. Well, not a good chance, but you just have a slightly better chance to survive. Right over here, they only have a few troops alive, so... I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. The British win by an overwhelming margin. They... Oh, <laughs> that British is saying... <laughs> is uh, apparently listening to me that they won. And the Germans are just going to have to retreat. In fact, they're all backing off because you just... Okay, they're doing one last offensive and they're going to... Going to, that one guy's going to get shot by a uh, tank rifleman. But yeah, the British win overwhelmingly. And I think I'm going to go ahead and check and see how many kills these guys got. 151 kills on this gun, 159 kills on this gun, about 166 kills. So I sent probably around 1,200 Germans against these guys. This guy's got no kills, so that's because he's an FGE gun. This guy's got no kills. This guy's got six. This guy's got five, seven, twelve. Ooh, not bad. Twenty-one kills from this, uh... Uh, tank rifleman. Sixty-three kills. Oh, that guy's dead. This area's dead. This guy's got zero kills. Yeah, normally the Germans get to push a little bit closer so for these guys to get kills. This guy's got 12, so the Riflemen have done fairly well. These guys only got one kill each. Four kills, one kill, four kills. Let's check this area. 24. So, it's not too bad. Everyone got a decent amount of kills against these Germans. These Germans are just not going to be able to push. Oh, well, they're going to bravely push again, but I really don't think they can survive. I'm really disappointed, though, because uh, usually the Germans put up a good fight, but they decided not to... They just lost the will to fight. A lot of times, the Germans, we'd get like 10 or so, or even a dozen 
Germans on each trench line over here, and they'd be so close to pushing this, and sometimes they would be able to overwhelm it. But they did this time. It's unfortunate. But anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and good day.